the European Space Agency Solar Orbiter has been given the rare opportunity to conduct some bonus science in a serendipitous rendezvous with the tails of the comet Atlas during the next few days. The Solar Orbiter was launched on February 10, 2020 and is en route to the inner solar system to study the Sun and inner heliosphere. The encounter with Atlas had not been planned. Atlas was discovered on December 28, 2019. During the next few months, it grew brighter at such a surprising rate that astronomers thought it might become visible to the naked eye in May. Unfortunately, the comet broke up in early April as it drew closer to the Sun and fragmented further in mid-May. However, also in May, Geraint Jones of the UK's Mullard Space Science Laboratory discovered that the spacecraft would pass through the comet's tails as early as May 31st. The instruments used to study Atlas were not scheduled to be fully functional until the probe's first solar observation on June 15th. As detailed in an article on the space agency's website, ESA scientists moved that timeline forward to begin collecting data when the probe passed through Atlas's ion tail which points directly away from the Sun on May 31st and June 1st. The Solar Orbiter will cross Atlas's dust tail, a trail of dust and gas left in the comet's orbit on June 6th. Comets are made of dust, frozen water, ammonia, methane, and carbon dioxide. A comet's dust tail is formed by particles that have been blown from the comet by the Sun's radiation. The ion tail is made of charged particles that are pushed away from the Sun by the solar wind. The ESA's solar orbiter was to take readings from the ion tail using its solar wind plasma analyzer. It will analyze particles from the dust tail using its radio and plasma waves instruments. Chance encounters of this nature with comets have only occurred six times and only noticed after the flybys had taken place. This is the first time scientists have been able to prepare in advance for such an event. In a statement on the space agency's website, Gunther Hassinger, ESA Director of Science, said, An unexpected encounter like this provides a mission with unique opportunities and challenges. But that's good. Chances like this are all part of the adventure of science. Most comets originate from the Kuiper Belt in the outer solar system and the Oort Cloud, a distant region beyond the heliosphere. But recently, we have for the first time detected a couple of interstellar visitors. Astronomers say they have cracked the mystery surrounding Oumuamua, the solar system's first known interstellar visitor. Since its discovery in 2017, the cigar-shaped space object Oumuamua has flummoxed scientists with its odd shape and acceleration movements that gravity effects cannot explain. A new study published in Nature now suggests the tidal forces that formed Oumuamua may have caused its erratic behavior. Oumuamua was first spotted by the Pan-STARRS Observatory in Hawaii on October 19, 2017. The object's name means a messenger from afar arriving first. The object's apparently dry composition and movements are so puzzling that the chair of Harvard's astronomy department, Abby Loeb, speculated it was an alien space probe. Writing in a news release, researchers say that Oumuamua's parent body or bodies may have had a close encounter with a host star. They say computer models show the tidal forces from the stars could rip the parent body apart and turn the original object into an elongated field of debris. The fragments may have then melted under the intense heat near the star before condescending again to form the strange cigar shape of the Oumuamua. This could explain why Oumuamua has a dry surface when scientists had expected most interstellar objects to be ice-based comets. Additionally, water ice could be trapped under Oumuamua's surface. As the object makes its passage through the solar system, the ice could be vaporized and converted to thrust, which gives Oumuamua its gravity-defying accelerations. The researchers say it is still highly uncertain if the theory is correct. So maybe it's still the aliens? Astronomers have spotted a comet heading our way, the second interstellar object ever to be detected visiting our solar system. According to NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, comet C2019Q4 was first spotted by Ukrainian amateur astronomer Gennady Borisov on August 30th. It was 20 kilometers wide and bright, unlike the small and faint Oumuamua, an interstellar object that passed through our solar system in 2017. 
The comet is currently 420 million kilometers from the Sun. It will reach its closest point on December 8, 2019, at a distance of about 300 million kilometers. 2019 Q4 appears to follow a hyperbolic trajectory and has a current velocity of 150,000 km per hour. These both indicate that the comet is likely interstellar in nature, originating from beyond our solar system. Its high velocity also means it will later leave and head back to interstellar space. Unlike Oumuamua, C2019Q4 is an active comet. National Geographic reports that astronomers have detected its coma, the fuzzy envelope of dust and gas that forms around a comet's nucleus. According to NASA, the interstellar comet can be seen with professional telescopes in the coming months, peaking in brightness in mid-December. It will be observable with moderate-sized telescopes until April 2020, but after that, and through October 2020, it can only be seen with larger professional telescopes. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.